Before you ever came on the scene or this universe ever existed, God was holy, infinitely valuable, incomparable, absolutely unique, and he knew it, and he loved it, and he treasured it because he's wise and righteous, and a righteous person always values what is most valuable. Therefore, before you ever came on the scene, God valued God above all things. He saw the perfections of himself shining out of his own infinitely glorious divine Son, and he loved his Son, and the Son loved the Father, and the Holy Spirit powerfully, personally radiated between the Father and the Son before you were ever on the scene. There was a gladsomeness in reality. And then you came, and I'll tell you something, nothing changed. God did not suddenly become an idolater when he created man, putting man where God belongs. God is not a man worshiper. God is a God worshiper. Or would you deny him the highest joys of the universe? But we did not tell you that. We bred you on your self-centeredness. We taught you a gospel of self-esteem that heals all diseases. And we put God on the periphery as a means to your self-exaltation. And so there's a great barrier. There's a great barrier here. My generation has failed itself and you in so many ways. You are not the center of God's values. The glory of God is the center of his value. You're not the center of his redeeming work. The magnifying of Christ in your life is the center of his redeeming work. You are not the treasure of the gospel. God is the treasure of the gospel. 